Welcome to sending email. In the Power Tools, we'll open our letter library. Then click Next, and these are the two email templates we just created. For this first example, we'll say that we need to send a unique email out to our list. We want to get an email out to our entire distribution list. And this is just a simple update for today, or whatever it is you want to send. You can hover your mouse pointer over the main template, click Send, and this will bring your main template into the Send Email interface. We'll click Go to Letter Builder. You can double click into the area you want to edit, and let's add our text. Okay, we've added our text. We said we have a conference call tomorrow at 10 a.m. EST. You'll find the call details on our website, and we give the website address. We need to hyperlink the website. Let's select our URL, then move your mouse pointer to the toolbar and click the chain and insert the link. And you'll see that we have HTTP here. You always want to use HTTP colon forward slash forward slash in every one of your URLs. Otherwise, the system will break. And the reason why is we use redirect so we track the links clicked. So you always want to use HTTP colon forward slash forward slash in all of your URLs. Okay, so this is our URL. And since I'm sending this as an email, some email clients have iframes and they'll want to open the web page within the email client. So what I do is always select new window. And that way, when they click the link, it will pop open their web browser into a new window and the website will come up in the full browser. We'll click OK, then we'll click Save, then we'll close the letter builder, and we're done. Now we want to select the distribution list that we want to send this email to. We'll send this to our real estate list. And I want the system to send the email immediately, so I'll leave Send Email Now checked. And if I wanted to schedule this email to be sent out tomorrow, we could select Send Later. We can click the calendar, select Tomorrow, select the time we want it sent, and we're done. So this is how you schedule an email to be sent at a later date and time. But we want to send this email now, so we'll click Send Now, and that's all we have to do. Now let's enter our subject line. First name fixed. Okay, this will write in their first name. And the reason I select first name fixed is if for some reason I've accidentally typed in their first letter of their name with a lowercase letter, the system will automatically correct it with an uppercase. And now I have my subject line and we're ready to send our email. We'll move our mouse pointer to the send message button and click send message. And we're done. We'll close the send email interface. So this is why I use the main template to create basically a stationary so that I can quickly and easily get a one-off email out to my distribution list. Now let's take a look at our great speaking with you. Okay, you can see that I have already completed all of the information. Let's close this down. We're going to close our letter library down. There's a couple of ways you can send these email templates so that you don't have to fuss with typing them over and over again. And I'll show you. We'll go to the contacts. We'll click contacts. Okay, let's add a new contact. Okay, so I have the contact information. Let's select a list name. We'll put Paul in our real estate list. We'll click apply. And now we can automatically send this email to Paul. So if Paul just called the office and we're on the phone with Paul, we can add Paul's contact information here and very conveniently select send email. And if you're categorizing your emails, you can select from a category. But in this case, we didn't categorize our letters. So all we need to do is select letter. And there is, it was great speaking with you. And when we click Save and Close, the system will add Paul to the contacts and automatically send out It Was Great Speaking With You email. Now let's go to Paul's contact record. If I'm in Paul's contact record, it's very simple to send an email. In the toolbar, we'll click Send Email. And this will bring up the Send Email interface with Paul's information ready to send. All we need to do is select the letter we want to send. Maybe this is a one-off email. I'll select my main template. We'll scroll down and there's our email. We'll click Go to Letter Builder. We'll click the pencil. And now we're ready to get an email out to Paul. Okay, I have my text in. We'll click Save. And now we're ready to send Paul our email. We'll click Close Letter Builder. We'll plug in our subject line. Okay, we have our subject line. Now we can move our mouse pointer to the toolbar and click Send Message and the system will send our email. This is how easy it is to send an email in Office VP.